Hello everyone, welcome to my TED Talk. My name is Daniel Alves. I am a student at Federal University of Rio Grande do Norte. And today I bring up some topics about cinema, a kind of art which probably most of you love it. I'm going to talk about it started, its revolution, how it is going on nowadays during the pandemic, the social and economic impact, and the social importance. So let's start. First of all, the cinema is considered the 70 art. That classification is attributed to the fact that cinema encompasses the other six existing arts. Music, dance, painting, architecture, sculpture, and literature. The cinema arose at the end of 19th century in French when the Lumiere brothers made and released the first move of history, the arrival of the train at the station. In 1896, the film was a train coming to its platform, as you can see on the screen, but was revolutionary and surprised everyone who watched the film in the time. Since the cinema started, it has gone through several revolutions. Some examples are the chroma key in the beginning of 20th century, the sound advent when the movies stopped to be mute in 1927, or the perspective and stop motion technique that was used to create big monsters as King Kong and Godzilla in the 30s. Our most recent revolutions are the 3D effect and the CGI, which possibility to directors and visual effects stuff create anything what they imagine. The cinematographic culture was extremely revolutionary for the society since it started to the present. Finally, the people could watch a movie, a story told in a visual way. And even nowadays, the movies are loved by almost everyone. By the way, who doesn't like to watch a good movie and some popcorn? It really moves a large number of people every year to the movie theaters, making a lot of money to the film industry. We know that the cinema industry profits billions of dollars every year, but sometimes a single movie surpasses that mark of billions, like Titanic, Avara, or Avengers Endgame. However, the cinema has been made a lot of money since its beginning, not only in the present. Countries such as USA or French use it to produce hundreds of movies every year just to wait for the profits in the 20s, 30s, 50s, 60s, leaving out the period of the two world wars. The cinema is always increasing its market value every year. But when the COVID pandemic arose in 2020, the movie industry passed by a giant change. The people can't crowd at movie theaters anymore. So if the companies didn't release their movies anyway, they would lose much money, more than the amount that they have already lost, but their luck is we are living the streaming era. Almost everyone has access to a huge movie collection by digital platforms like Netflix and Amazon Prime. So the companies started to release their movies directly by streaming. Obviously this change is because of global tragedy, but it's undeniable that it makes the movies more accessible to the population, mainly for the people who live in small towns and have no access to move theaters because there is no move theaters in their cities. Here we could see how the move theaters profits totally decreased while the streaming subscriptions rises very fast in this last year. Lastly, we couldn't deny that cinema is extremely important to the society. We could consume it as an entertainment or educational way or the booth way together. The cinema intends to evolve increasingly with the new technologies that will be created in the next years. In fact, it's an industry that really moves the economy. And the advent of streaming has made the cinema more accessible to population. Today, everyone can watch the move of moment and talk about it with their friends. Probably is an art and industry that never will close down and it always will attract a tremendous audience to the social phenomenon, 
which is to watch a movie with other people and share their emotions together at the same time. I thank everyone who watched the TED Talk. Thanks for the attention. Bye and have a nice day.